again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. If you have watched the last couple videos that I have posted on YouTube, you have seen that I finally got all of my tulips in the ground, 1845 to be exact. So in this video, I wanted to share with you all of the different varieties that I am planting for the spring of 2022. Now within those 1845 tulips, I have 28 different varieties of tulips that I am growing. And I am growing so many different types because I want to test out what works best for me, what I like best for my cut flower bouquets, and what grows best in my area. So some of these varieties I'm growing a lot of, and some of them I am growing just a few, um, like 20 to 25 of. Now all of these tulips are planted outside of my photography studio here in my urban garden, which is about 2,000 square feet. And if you are not familiar with growing tulips for cut flowers, when you grow them to use as cut flowers, you harvest them as annuals. So when I harvest them next spring, I'm going to be pulling the whole plant, bulb and all. So I could plant these anywhere in my garden. They will be harvested before I'm ready to plant my seedlings. And then I can use that space to plant any of the seedlings that I start over the winter in. So let me get started in sharing with you all the varieties I'm growing. Now of these varieties, I'm planting out of four different groups. I have singles, doubles, fringed, and parrot tulips. Most of the ones I'm growing are the doubles just because that's what I think that I'm going to like the best, but it'll be fun to try all of them throughout the season. So I have a whole list typed up for you guys. And while I go through these, I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen so you can see exactly what they all look like. And I should also mention down below in the video description, I have listed all of the websites that I purchased these from as well. So let's start with the single tulips. The first one is called Apricot Impression and I have a hundred of these planted. I have 10 planted of a variety called Artist and I only have 10 of these planted because I picked these up on clearance at a local, um, I think Home Depot, along with another one, which you'll see when we get down the list. The next one is Flaming Flag, which I have a hundred of. Then I have a Pastel Mayflowery Mix, which I have 50 planted of. I have a hundred of Queen of the Night, which I have heard is a fantastic cut flower. These are so dark, they almost look black, but they're actually a very deep purple. I have 25 planted of the Triumph Tulip Ronaldo. And then the last single tulip is the Tall Cut Flower Mix. Now, I'm a member of a Facebook group which is for cut flower farmers that sells, um, how do I say it, sells wholesale. Um, I have it listed in the link down below, but it is by a guy named Jake and he posts when he gets orders in and then thousands of cut flower farmers from around the United States can comment and purchase wholesale through him. Wholesaley, I don't really think that's a word. Um, anyway, so the different mixes that I'm getting are mostly from that group. And again, I have that link down below. Okay, so for all of the double tulips that I'm planting, there's a lot of these. And some of these I am not sure how to pronounce. So I have 50 of Alicante. I hope I'm saying that right. Then I have 50 of, I'm gonna just put this name up on the screen. This is another really pretty one. And then I have 25 of Averon. I don't know if I'm saying that right either. Now I have 140 planted of a tulip called Columbus. And I have also heard really great things about this variety that it works really, really well for cut flowers. So I'm excited to plant that one. Then I have 25 of Fanola, and I have 25 of Foxtrot. Then of a variety called Foxy Foxtrot, I have a hundred. Then I have 20 of, I will put this name up on the screen because I am not sure how this is pronounced. I also have heard really great things about this variety. I could only get my hands on 20. I have a hundred of Promise. Then I have 200 of Renown Unique which is also supposed to be a fantastic cut flower and the colors on this one are just amazing. I have 50 of a variety called Uncle Tom. I have 25 of Vanilla Coop, 
which I know is a popular one. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this um, because it kind of blooms upward. So I just got 25 to try, but since it's so different, I really wanted to include it. I have 50 of Verona. And then I have 40 of a double late mix, which are all doubles. And then I have 150 of the double cut flower mix. The mixes I think are going to be especially fun to see bloom because I don't know what's going to be in all of those mixes. So those will be a really fun surprise. Okay, moving on to the fringe tulips. I only have a few of these. I'm hoping to get more of these next year. You know, it was kind of hard when I was ordering everything last fall and then in the spring there were shortages of things um, or maybe some crops didn't turn out. So I had some order cancellations as I'm sure all of you did. So I ended up reordering more. And so some of the varieties that I actually ordered did not come. But overall, I am really happy with what I ended up with. Um, so for the fringe tulips, I have 25 of Belfort. I have 10 of Crystal Star, which was another bag of clearance bulbs that I saw at, I think, the Home Depot. And then I have 100 of the Fringed Cut Flower Mix, which again is from that Facebook wholesale group. Then the last group are all of my Parrot Tulips, just a few of these also. I have 25 of Frozen Night, which I think this one is going to be beautiful. Then I have 100 of the White Parrot, which I know is a really popular one for the Parrot Tulips. And then I have 100 of the Parrot Cut Flower Mix. So that does it for all of my 28 different varieties, making up 1,845 tulips. So in the spring, I will make sure to keep you guys updated on my Instagram account, how things are growing. And then I, of course, will be doing multiple videos when I am harvesting them, storing them, and making my spring cut flower bouquets from the tulips. I'm really hoping that these time out around Mother's Day, um, but we will just see how the winter goes and how things start blooming in the spring. Um, also, stay tuned for a lot more winter content. I'm going to be sharing what I learned my first year flower farming. I'm going to share with you guys the plants that I have for my garden. If you watched any of my videos over the summer, you know that it was half vegetable and half cut flowers. This year, the whole thing will be cut flowers because I quickly realized I need about twice the flowers. So I'm going to be sharing all of my plants for the garden, where I'm planting things, and what I am growing. So stay tuned for all of that over the winter months. We'll see you soon.